Hello, I'm Daniel, and I have three personalities. One of them is a regular Daniel, the one who's talking to you right now. Another one is depressed Daniel, and the third one is Daniel the Maniac. All combined, these three personalities make me a patient with bipolar one disorder, also known as manic depressive disorder. When people hear these three words, manic depressive disorder, they imagine at once a maniac from horror movies walking around with a machete and murdering everyone he can see. It's funny because it is as far from the reality as possible. The only person such a patient can harm is himself, which is due to depression episodes that last for a very long period of life and deprive you of any hope. But let me tell you in detail how I found it out. I was 14 when I had my first depression episode that lasted for very long. It started in November. At first, I thought that it was a usual November blues that would pass in no time. Strangely, it didn't. It went worse and worse. I was sure Christmas would fix it all as it had always been my favorite time of the year, but it didn't. It felt like someone had switched off all the colors in the world and you're living in black and white. Nothing gave me joy, nothing gave me pleasure or motivation. At some point I was struggling not even to go to school, but to get up from the bed. What's the reason to do it if there's no hope and no future? When I'm out of depression, such thoughts seem ridiculous to me, but when you're depressed, you are absolutely convinced that life is a vortex that brings you straight to hell. Obviously, my parents got worried at once. They pulled me out of the bed and brought me straight to the doctor who diagnosed me with clinical depression. That was really wise of them because when someone is depressed and if you leave him alone, you never know what it can finish with. The doctor prescribed me antidepressants. They didn't work 100%, but they toned my depression down a bit. That was anyway a huge relief. I finally returned back to school, which was a huge step forward because I was failing everything. In April, my depression passed. I hoped that it was finally it, one strange episode that wouldn't be repeated. I was living my normal life and was slowly forgetting the horror I've survived until one day my manic episode started. This is something impressive to tell. Every patient lives his mania in a different way. Someone starts spending money uncontrollably. Others start partying all day long. You don't even notice how things change. You receive a flow of uncontrollable energy and you try to discharge yourself in some way. You feel like a superman who can handle anything. Climbing a 40 foot tree, on my way. Telling your school principal or boss everything you think about him, I'm a hero. Winning a million bucks at a casino, I feel lucky. I didn't realize something was wrong with me. In my case, I didn't want to do anything bizarre or dangerous. Point is, I started seeing signs everywhere. Please don't laugh, I know it's ridiculous, but when you're manic, you don't reason. I saw the signs of some global conspiracy that suddenly became clearly